I never noticed the the deer skull up there. All right. Let me put that on. And we'll go have a chat with a Jarl. Interesting. It's quiet today. Quiet and snowy. <laughs> After last night's storm, I can't say as I'm surprised. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see. Here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. A letter from a friend? <laughs> well, that could only be one of two people, I think. Oh. Hanwa Almrazim. You caused a bit of a stir in Iverstead when you demonstrated the power of your thumb. Yeah, I imagine so. <laughs> I for one desire to see you grow and develop your talents. Skyrim needs a true hero these days. You should turn your attention to Lost Tongue Overlook. I understand it holds a mysterious source of power. Sincerely, a friend. Hmm. Thank you. Did this friend tip you at all? I, I would assume so. Who? Who could have sent that? Well, whoever it is, is a man, so that narrows it down. That didn't seem like I don't think- no, it, it didn't seem like Arden's handwriting, which I've seen. I haven't seen Cayman's handwriting, but... I don't think it was him. He wouldn't know where to find words of power, would he? Maybe Esbern? See, I would assume it would have to be somebody in Iverstead, right? Hello, Emrin. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. 
feel like I'm doing nothing but mercenary work these days. That's not true. Oh, look at you! Oh, that's adorable. Let me show you the power of Kalos Storm Crown, born of the North, where my breath is long winter. I breathe hmm. now in royalty and reshape the sky. I breathe now in royalty and reshape this land which is mine. I don't... I don't want to think about that. Nope, nope, nope. I do not want to think about the fact that Talos and Tiber Septum are the same person, supposedly. Because that... Can't be... Hello, Yara Balgraf. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you too. I, uh, need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Yeah, sorry. I, I know I was kind of muttering. You know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. Dragon's Reach was built to hold a dragon, wasn't it? According to legend. Although I never thought to put the tale to the test. Jarl Olaf One-Eye it was. Who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Anthor. And brought it back to Whiterun. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. Oh, that's... that's Numenex. Did he drag... a dragon corpse? Huh. Okay, but I'm serious. We... we need to do this. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? It's the only way. And besides, if we... It's the only way. There must be another way. The risk is too great. Let me tell you about risk. This isn't some regular dragon that we're talking about, Jarl Balgruf. This is Alduin. Alduin? The world eater himself? But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? No. Not if I have anything to say about it. I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. <sighs> Great. Well, what if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Oh, boy. Alright, I'll talk to Arngear. I 
hope it's gonna work. Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. <laughs> I don't know about tr stopping the war, but we can at least put it on hold for a while. Keep safe. You too, and keep your city safe. Speaking of which, if I'm gonna go talk to Ulfric, I feel like I should have a Nord on my side. My lord, our provisions are running dangerously low. Our One of the new servants? Remember that I like my meat rare. Oh, girl. <laughs> right. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to talk to Ulfric before I... Probably should bring her along anyway. Be nice to have somebody to talk to that's... Rise up, Stormcloaks! Embrace the word of mighty Talos, he who is both man and divine. Trust <coughs> oh in me, my God! Trust in I don't want to think about that. I wonder where Klimic is. I don't know if I ever think. Thanked him? Not thanked him. You can't tell her what to do. She's our only child, Bolton. Am I to throw her to the wolves? <laughs> You're hardly throwing her to the wolves. She just wants to see the world, just like I did when I was there. Oh, that reminds me of somebody. You? I. I was an adventurous young thing, just like you, and her. Oh, that bodes well. Lovely. I think there's a troll up there somewhere. Well, there was the first time I came through here. Alright, come on. You're gonna have to take it slow. I'm an old lady, I can't keep up. Sorry. Ugh, I'm an old lady in the north who isn't used to climbing mountains. You don't look that old. I'm 60 winters or thereabouts. A little older. Oh, um... Well, you look great. Thanks. Right, sorry. You know, you could have left me in Iverstead. Do you want to stay in Iverstead while I go do this? No, I want to come see the throat of the world, frankly. It's one of those things that... <laughs> I hear Jarl Balgraf talking about it and I think, I wonder what it's like up there. Never really had a reason to come see it for myself. Well, we're not going to go all the way up the top. For reasons. Ugh, careful, these stairs are kind of uneasy. No kidding. Don't worry about him. He's not gonna attack you so long as I'm around. You sure about that? Oh, I'm sure. Now, trolls, on the other hand, we may have to worry about. Jeez, even I'm getting tired coming up this mountain. Heh. <laughs> Should probably do something about that, huh? After you, goat. Oh good. We're keeping up. Hi, as best I can. Ish. Starting to sound like my granddaughter. 
Where is Mordgood anyway? She went back to Solstein for a while. She had a bounty to turn in. Oh. So Zaytest and Cayman aren't the only... Axes for hire. Nice. <laughs> Amran in Whiterun was asking me if I had tried mercenary work and I was thinking it feels like that's all the work that there is in Skyrim these days. I noticed that too. There are a lot of mercenaries on the road. I was talking to Ayala about it the other day. Yesterday. This morning. One of the two. Oh. Uh, should I have let you sleep? Oh no. Believe me, I don't get very good sleep these days. Fair enough. But yeah. Kind of worries me, to be honest. Winter's closing in and... Everyone is still fighting, instead of farming. It's not how it should be. Yeah, I agree. Hopefully I'll be able to do something about that. You think either of them will listen? You mean all for Catullius? Yeah. I don't know. I hope so. I hope Tullius at least will take the opportunity to send his men home. I'm sure none of them want to winter over in Skyrim. Hey, that's true. <laughs> if winters are anything like they are in Solstein here, then uh, it's going to be brutal. Great. <laughs> I've never spent the winter anywhere but Sentinel myself, so I uh, guess we'll find out. Sentinel's in Hammerfell, right? Yeah, it's a coastal city. You came up here from the coast? <laughs> I imagine the altitude must have gotten to you a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy just... being up here right now. I admit it's quite the climb. Have you ever counted the steps? Nope. Usually I'm in too much of a hurry. And sometimes I stop and just kind of stare out at the everything. But not today. It's kind of... I could do something about that. What? Uh, cover your ears for a second. Okay. Look! There, that should help a little bit. What was that great sound about? That was hopefully convincing kind to not be... all... you know, snowy and stuff. <sighs> There's a statue of Talos all the way up here. Mm-hmm. And here we are. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I admit. Oh, it cleared up. Sure enough. <laughs> Look at that. You can just see everything from up here. I admit, it's kind of a sight. <laughs> Thanks for bringing an old woman along with you. You're welcome. Now with any luck... That one's Bori. Einarth, Wolfgar. I feel like I shouldn't speak in here. Yeah, it's kind of... I bet that's on here. Sound does carry. On here. Aldwin? 
We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Um, defeated, yes, technically, but he escaped. I need to find his portal to Sovngarde. You what now? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I need your help then. I need to capture a dragon. <laughs> of all things. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. I'll worry about the actual capturing part. I need your help to stop a war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I know. I'm not asking you to get involved, I'm just asking you to host a... Look, Jarl Bogruf won't help me while the war is going. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Yep. Both sides respect you. They'll listen. Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. <laughs> I'm sure Ulfric will. Sky above, voice within. Lokthun. <laughs> Sorry. That was interesting. Well, I guess we have a use for this place now. A massive round table. Would you look at that? Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get my finery from my little hut. <laughs> my tree house. Your what? I'll explain when we get outside. I, I have a little tree house down by a wind... by a... Wind helm. Uh, white run. That little place is yours. Mm-hmm. I find it highly appropriate considering, you know... Kind. Fair enough. So, let me get this straight. You need to find- first of all, there's a portal to Sovngarde somewhere. Uh, apparently. And second of all, you need to trap a dragon. In order to... find this portal. Mm-hmm. You're going to go to Sovngarde? Yeah, I think so. Don't you kind of have to be dead to go to Sovngarde? Dead or divine, I guess. I don't know. I... <laughs> Frankly, I'm not even sure if this is actually a place that exists. The portal, or... Sovngarde. Oh boy, sun's going down. Don't worry about me. I've got torches. Hey, so do I. Alright. We'll spend the night in Iverstead and then... head to Windhelm in the morning. Sounds like a plan to me. I still think you're nuts for trying to make this work, but... What do you need my help for, anyway? Huh. <laughs> I need someone watching my back when I go talk to Ulfric. Tellius I can handle. But... Ulfric? I'm not sure he'll talk to a red guard. I'm sure you'll be fine. It's Galmar you need to worry about, not him. Here we are in Windhelm. 
Bleak as usual. How? It'll be to the left and straight up the stairs. Thanks. Seems quiet today. Oh, that's why. Still early. I guess the guard is waking up and changing and whatnot. <laughs> the night shift is switching out. <laughs> Here we are. Palace of the Kings. Oh boy. Algriff won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come oh. around. Okay. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. He's Taking a his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Yars. Probably shouldn't be in there, huh? Whoever we replace Her. them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Galmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Uflik. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye, but in the meantime, we have a war to plan. You are right there, Kinoa. You look a little shaken. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Your leaf, I want you to send a messenger to our western camps. And the message, sir? I'm diverting Gar and Hadring's men to join him. Is that wise, sir? It will work if we can pull Haran's men from the south and find a bit of luck. Of course. Something that seems to be in short supply these days. <laughs> I'm not seeking advice right now, friend. Just send the message. Jarl Ulfric? Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Well, I guess I'm... a fool then. I see no courage in fighting a war. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Gotmar. What does bring you to me? I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a truce. At least until the dragons are dealt with. I see no courage in fighting a war right now. Not when winter is closing in and the dragons are here. 
I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Politics be damned. Alduin has returned. Alduin? The world eater of song and legend? If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So you'll come then? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Thank you, Yarrow Ulfric. It'll take me a few to get a few <laughs> a few days to get to solitude and back up to High Hrothgar again, so Take your time. We'll be waiting. What are you internally screaming about now? I thought you did great. Ulfric is not an easy man to talk to, and <laughs> neither is Galmar. Yeah. The divine smile on those who show <sighs> charity. He... He's definitely someone who's got the voice, for sure. <laughs> you ever think your voice is gonna be able to do that? The great booming volume thing? No. I, I I hope it doesn't. I'm gonna remind myself too much of my father if I do that. Your father? Was he dragonborn too? I don't know. Alright. Let's go talk to Tellius then. Actually, if it's all the same to you, I'm going to stay here for a bit. I have some business to take care of. Right. We're gonna wait for Morka to come back from Solstheim then? Maybe. But... I need to have a word with Galmar. When I came to Skyrim, I wanted to join the Stormcloaks. He turned me down because I was an old lady. I think I'd like to go talk some sense into him. Are you going to join the Stormcloaks? That will depend on Galmar. I don't think so. Not yet. We'll see. Go do your thing, you know asking for much. Just a few septums. All right. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming with me. Thank you for bringing me up to High Rothgar. Maybe I'll see it again someday. Maybe. Oh boy. There's something familiar about Ulfric. Named Shor's Tongue, Dragon of the North. This new wolf hearth of Edmora. Oh boy. I just realized I went the wrong way. I need to take a boat. Good job, Kinoa. Hi. You talk to Ed Brothers. Deja has no words for you. And I have no words for Deja. It's fine. <sighs> How many times have I seen Solitude in the last week? Wonder how Arden and Ingrath are doing.
I wonder if Zaytest is still lingering around somewhere. <laughs> well, no horses. I guess they've all gone away somewhere, doing their stuff. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Mm -hmm. Shouted him apart. I don't think he shouted him apart. Down might be the better word. Why won't that phrase get out of my head? He who is both man and divine. Yeesh, I sound like Dominique when I do that. Hey. Hi, Lizette. You should see Feel free to make requests. Uh, how are you doing? What's the word around town? Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry, I won't keep you. It Get out of the rain. Always good to see a fellow bard. Yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> she plays a damn good flute. <laughs> oh boy. Hi. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack I'm on White. Just here on diplomatic business. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take White Run. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop it. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Hmm. So that's General Tullius. General? Speak with Legate Ricca. She will determine if you are Legion material. I'm not here to join the Legion. I'm here with a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They're convening a peace council at High Hrothgar, and they want you to show up. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until the dragons are dealt with. Or at least until the winter's over, whichever works. I, I don't know. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Hmm. General Tullius. Skyrim's winter is closing in. The best time to negotiate is from a position of strength. I may be a Redguard, but I know that as well as you do. Send your men home. At least over the winter. Come talk at the peace treaty. Don't let 
your forces get worn down by the dragons and the cold. Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Why won't the Emperor send more reinforcements? Most of the Legion is tied down on the border with the Aldmeri Dominion. The Emperor can't afford to risk weakening Cyrodiil's defenses. From the Imperial City, our war here is just a sideshow. An interlude before the main event against the Thalmor resumes. So you'll come to the Peace Council, then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Thank you, General. I'll get out of your way, sir. Talking peace with Ulfric? <laughs> you must be an optimist. <laughs> I've been called worse. Talking peace with Ulfric? <laughs> you must be an optimist. Suppose I am. Dragonborn. It is my honor to stand before you. Kind guard you. Where am I going? I still haven't found her other flute. I've been going back to the inn. I kind of just want to stand out in the rain, to be honest. Feels nice. Probably awful for my armor, though. So we're calling a peace council treaty thing. Well, I got Yarnvita and Arden to at least not kill each other. Maybe it'll be easier the second time around. <laughs> kind laughs. laughs. 